Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to be showing you the program management module uh, within Salesforce, which is an app that we've added onto the nonprofit success pack. Uh, you can use the program management module whenever you have a service delivery and recipients. Examples include uh, vocational training, food delivery, after school programs, environmental cleanup, animal rescue programs, etc. Uh, we're going to be showing the program management module within our uh, dummy organization, which is called Food is Medicine. And Food is Medicine is a organization that makes and delivers meals to people who are too sick to cook or shop for themselves. Uh, Bronnie's gonna walk us through how he has set up uh, the program management module within Food is Medicine uh, to manage their delivery programs. And we're gonna be walking through a dashboard at the end to review uh, how many deliveries occurred in a single day or in a month uh, that management can easily use to kind of view uh, reports as needed. Hi everyone. So this is the program management module. Uh, we have installed it uh, along with uh, the nonprofit success pack. So this is an add-on that comes uh, along with the NPSP. So uh, right now uh, we are going to create our program. So I'm going to go create a new one. So we are going to name it uh, the winter food delivery. status I'm going to set as active and date I'm going to give us so I'm going to do from December 1 to December 31 so I'm going to save it so we have uh, created our program now so once the program is created then we get the services and we have to create our services. A service can be something like uh, winter dinner delivery and winter lunch delivery. So, this is part of this winter food delivery program. And uh, description we can put as. Save it. I'm going to save it and I'm going to create one more. So now we have created uh, both our services. So under one program, we have two services. And for each service, uh, we are going to create a schedule. So. Let me go into the dinner delivery service. So now we can go and create schedules, which are basically the instances of the service when we will be doing those. So uh, we are going to name it. So we can say uh, weekly. And uh, uh, we we have to uh, specify our first session when it starts. So I'm going to move this to December. So let's start with December one, and we do every Thursday at. Uh, Six PM, and our first session end will be um, December one seven PM, and the frequency will be weekly, and we'll do every Thursday. So once we uh, we uh, enter this, then uh, we will have the schedules generated. One second. So I have to say uh, the service ends after how many days? So I'm going to say it's end ends after four sessions. And so now we have the service schedules created uh, once a week in the month of December. So 
So now uh, I'm going to click next. We have this, and then I'll save it. So now we have our service session. So we need not manually go and enter our service sessions. Let's say if we, even if we are doing daily, we not enter everything. It just creates the sessions based on the schedule that we created. Now um, we have to add participants who are basically the the recipients of the food packets that we are going to deliver. So add participants to this. And we are going to add me. Let's add Mark Marshall. So his role will be client and stage will be enrolled. Save it. Let's add one more participant. So Mark Taylor. So we have added uh, two participants, but participants can be like any number, 40 or 50, based on uh, the recipients that you're planning to deliver your service to. I'm going to save. So we have the participants here, then we have the service sessions here. Now let's say on uh, December 1, uh, we have done our first delivery, then we will go into The session and you can see that uh, the recipients are marked here uh, with the quantity and the attendance so I'm going to say we delivered one packet to office Martha Marshall and uh, let's say two packets to um, Mark Taylor so so if if there are any mis like missed deliveries we can also mark them as absent as well in case if you're not delivering it. So now I have basically uh, completed my our, our first delivery and we have uh, <clears throat> marked the data here. So once this is done, um, the, the all the data can be tracked with help of a dashboard that we have created. Um, let me show you. So this is the dashboard uh, that we have custom built for it. I'm going to refresh it. So now we, those three packets that we added uh, came here, it's 11. And uh, we also track the packets that are not delivered. Then we also have the package delivery by date. And this is the, the package delivered to each participant. And this is the status by uh, whether they received it or not. So uh, we can make uh, any custom dashboard that we want based on the metrics that we want to track and optimize our services. And as, I, as Michael earlier said, uh, any service uh, that uh, a nonprofit is planning to deliver and if there are recipients to that service, then we can use this program management module for easy tracking and management. Thank you. And I'll just add that uh, within the program management module, uh, we can also, you know, build out um, the data entry in mobile. So, for instance, if food is medicine, the delivery drivers uh, want to track their uh, deliveries on the fly as they go from their mobile device. Um, uh, we can do that as well. So, uh, great. Thank you for watching.